guys, this is number 28 in the series. It's called The End. It was given on 11, 21, 23, around 11 a.m. It starts with a couple of scriptures. Isaiah 46, 9 through 10. Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is no other. I am God, and there is no one like me. Declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times, things that are not yet done. Saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. And then Ecclesiastes 3.11. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity in their hearts, except that no one can find out the work that God does from the beginning to end. So, let's start. Who knows how the end goes? Only the Lord God Almighty. I have known from the beginning how it would end. No one knows the end how it will actually play out. It is essential to trust me. I know every detail. There are no surprises to me. There are no deceptions to me. I navigate the end flawlessly for those who listen to me and obey. Hear me. Listen for your name. Be prepared to follow my lead. Troubles will surround all who do not listen to me or bind together with those who do. Focus not on the troubles around you, but focus on me. I bring calm and a true peace. Seek me in prayer in earnest for the chaos to come. I will keep safe all who cry out to me. I am faithful. I know the end. I see the end. Trust me. The Lion of Judah will arise the true Messiah, Jesus Christ, my one and only son. Do not believe any other deception pushed onto the people. Deceptions will abound. Dramatic efforts have been made by the kings and magicians to fool the masses. Do not fall prey. This is the hard way. To be deceived shows a lack of wisdom, which shows it has not been prayed for and my words have not been read repeatedly. My holy scriptures create discernment. The shame that will come to man is because they will believe the deceptions and make poor choices based on these beliefs. They will be shamed publicly as I do not protect them. Their shame began when they chose to spend their hours in selfish pursuits, not even giving me a tithe of their day to learn of me from my own word. This lack of passion to pursue me caused foolishness. Foolishness follows deception. The wise see through deception. Their minds are trained in truth by chasing after me and knowing my words. When truth is known, a falsehood is easy to detect. But when truth is not known, a falsehood is easy to deceive. Know me. Read my words. Read my son's words. This is truth. The knowledge of my son's words and prayer for wisdom to understand them is essential and will help every person avoid deception. Begin today. Read or reread all of the books with red letters. Read as much as you can every day. When you finish, repeat reading the books. Deep truths are found in his words. His words are rooted in my words. He quotes much of the Old Testament. Jesus is truth. Take part in learning truth and avoid deception. This ended at 1141, which in the Hebrew is um, Yah has built up. And then that is like in contrast with the Greek, which is demon-like, resembling or proceeding like a demon. And the verse that goes with it for 28 is John 14, 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I hope you find that encouraging and see you next time.